So this is the next question, question number 29, which says the correct statement or statements about the following reaction sequence is R. The sequence is given here, Q mean gives us P, P gives us Q and R, Q is major and R is minor, this Q gives us S. The option A is R is steam volatile, B option A is Q gives dark coloration with 1% aqueous FeCl3. C option says S gives yellow PPT, yellow precipitate with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine, which is our 2,4 DNP reagent. D option says S gives dark violet coloration with 1% aqueous FeCl3. So, how can we solve this question? First of all, let us write all the reactions. We have cumene. This is cumene. The aerial oxidation of cumene followed by hydrolysis gives us phenol and acetone. This phenol is P. When Phenol is treated with chloroform and sodium hydroxide. It gives us salicylaldehyde So, CHO group will attach on either the ortho position or at para position. The ortho will be major product because of hydrogen bonding, intramolecular hydrogen bonding. This is the major product, hence this will be Q, this is our major product and this will be R, which is our minor product. Next, the Q reacts with NaOH. This is our Q. When it reacts with sodium hydroxide and benzyl bromide, when it reacts with sodium hydroxide and benzyl bromide, what will be the product formed? In this case, OCH2PH, CHO. This will be the product form which is our S. So, th these are the products given. Now, let us go through the options. The first option says R is steam volatile. If I consider R, in this case R has intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So, because of intermolecular, strong intermolecular hydrogen bonding, it is not steam volatile. So, option A cannot be the correct answer. Second option says Q gives dark coloration with 1% aqueous FeCl3. So, we have this Q. In Q, we have phenolic OH. So, phenolic OH gives us dark violet coloration with 1% FeCl3. So, this is true statement. So, option B is correct. Now, let us check option C. S gives yellow PPT with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So, aldehydic or ketonic groups gives us 2,4 DNP test. So, we have uh, S here. In case of S, we have aldehyde group CHO. So, it will give us yellow precipitate with 2,4 DNP reagent. So, this is also true. Next option says S gives dark violet coloration with 1% FeCl3. In case of S, we do not have any free phenolic group. So, it will not give us any coloration with FeCl3. So, this option is incorrect. So, for this question, the correct answers are option B and option C. Now, let us move to the next question. So, this is the next question we have. The product or products of the following reaction sequence is R. We have aniline and the sequence is given acetic anhydride and pyridine. Then we, we have KBRO3 and HBr. We have S3O plus and heat. 
then we have NaNO2 with HCl at 273 Kelvin to 278 Kelvin and in the end we have copper and HBr. So, what will be the product formed in this sequence? The options given here. Now, let us solve this question. Let us make the products one by one. First of all, we have aniline. When aniline reacts with acetic anhydride in presence of pyridine, the acylation of NH2 group takes place. and this acylation decreases the reactivity of NH2 group. Now, when it reacts with KBRO3 and HBr, bromination at para position takes place. After that, we have hydrolysis S3O plus. So, hydrolysis will give us NH2 again. NH2 and Br. On reaction with NaNO2 and HCl at 0 to 5 degree Celsius or 273 Kelvin to 278 Kelvin, diazotization takes place and benzene diazonium chloride will be formed. So, benzene diazonium chloride will be formed when it reacts with NaNO2 and HCl at temperatures 273 to 278 Kelvin. So, 0 to 5 degree Celsius temperature will result in the formation of benzene diazonium chloride. So, this will give us benzene diazonium chloride which reacts with copper and HBr gives us bromine which is Gettermann reaction and if I take copper and HBr, so in place of N2Cl, Br will be substituted. So, we get para dibromobenzene. So, the correct answer is option B in which we have para dibromobenzene. Now, let us move to the next question.